In this video, we will continue our quiz three review by focusing on conditional probability. So recall the conditional probability probability that event A occurs given that event B occurs. Now let me write that better, occurs written. So we notate this by writing P and then parentheses we write A, a vertical line B. That's the probability that A occurs given that B occurs is so let's remind ourselves what the formula for this conditional probability is. So the formula in general is we have a fraction and on the numerator we have the probability of the intersection of A and B. On the bottom is the probability that B occurs. So that is the formula in general. But in the special case where we have equally likely outcomes, so with equally likely outcomes. Then on the top and on the bottom of our fraction, we can instead just write the number of elements in each set. So the number of elements in the intersection of A and B on the top and the number of elements in the set B on the bottom. Alrighty, so let's look at an example next. All right, so the example says that a veterinarian has four dogs, three cats, and two gerbils. Two animals are selected at random. What is the probability that both are dogs, given that both are the same type of animal? So I want to begin by giving you the opportunity to try this. So pause the video for four minutes to try this question on your own first. Four, three, two, one. Pause the video and try this one for four minutes. Alrighty, so hopefully you've done that. Hopefully you've paused it and tried this one for about four minutes. Let's talk about it together. So we want to find a certain probability. And it's a conditional probability because it tells me, it specifically says the word is given that, and that's a big indicator that's a conditional probability. So it wants us to find the probability that both are dogs given that something happens. So let me write probability that both are dogs and then I'll write a vertical line for given that, and after that, what I'm given is both are the same type. So both are the same type of animal. So if we use our formula for conditional probability, here, because we're selecting these animals at random, we have equally likely outcomes. So I'm gonna use the, the bottom formula for conditional probability. I'm going to count the number of elements in each set. So on the top, it's the number of elements in the intersection of the event of both our dogs. And both animals have the same type. So both are the same type. And on the bottom, it's the number of elements in the set where both are the same type. All right. So the numerator here, remember the intersection means the word and, if I think about it in terms of words. So the numerator is saying that both of the animals are dogs and they are both the same type of animal. So that's a bit redundant to say. It would be better simply to say that this just means that both are dogs. Both are dogs. Okay, so Let's focus on counting the numerator and the denominator next. All right, so I'm gonna highlight the numerator in blue and let's highlight the denominator in green. So first let's count the numerator here. So the number of ways that both are dogs. In other words, this is, we're just counting the number of ways that I can pick two dogs. 
Okay, so when I do this, the order in which we pick the dogs doesn't matter. So we're gonna use a combination. So a combination and we are choosing two out of the four dogs. So we are gonna write four, choose two. And if we work out what this is, this gives us six. Okay, so that is, that is the numerator. Number of ways that both can be dogs or the number of ways to choose two dogs is just gonna be six. All right, now let's do the denominator. So we need the number of ways that both are the same type of animal. Or in other words, it's the number of ways we can pick two animals and they happen to be the same type. So there's a few ways that this can happen, uh, either if they're both dogs or if they're both cats or if they're both gerbils. And those are all sort of disjoint cases from one another. So I can split this up and count the number of ways that both can be dogs and add that to the number of ways that both can be cats and add that to the number of ways that both can be gerbils. Alrighty, now let's do each of these. Okay, sorry about that. I got shifted for a split second there. So for the number of ways that both can be dogs, well, we already did that up above. That was four choose two. For the number of ways that both can be cats, well, we are choosing two out of the three cats. There were three total cats. We need to choose two of them if they're both gonna be cats. And again, order doesn't matter here, so this is gonna be a combination. Three choose two. And for both being gerbils, we would now be choosing two out of, and there were two gerbils in the question. So choosing two out of the two gerbils, so that's gonna be two choose two. And if we work out what this is and add these three values together, we get 10. So our denominator is simply 10 here. Alrighty, so we are ready to put this all together. Okay, so thus we get our answer at the end is our numerator was 6 and our denominator is 10. So I can simplify this. If we divide the top and the bottom by 2, ooh, let's write that 2 on the bottom better. In dividing, we get 3 over 5. And that is our answer.